John Lecube. I am the project manager in the Biscay Marine Energy Platform. The MEP is an open sea test site where prototypes of wave energy converters and floating wind turbines can be tested. And, and as a part of this Biscay Marine Energy Platform, we have the Motrico Wave Power Plant in the north of Spain. And this power plant was put into operation in 2011, commissioned by the Basque Energy Agency. The power plant is supplying around 300 megawatts hour per year, which is an equivalent energy demand of more or less 100 homes. This power plant works with the operating principle called oscillating motor column. Basically, oscillating motor column device is based on a, on a chamber which is open to the, to the wave, to the sea, and when the wave comes into the chamber, hits against the breakwater and comes into the chamber, the water level inside the chamber increases and the pressure of the air inside the chamber also increases. This high pressure air passes through the turbine, spinning the, the turbine and producing the electricity. In a similar way, when the wave releases, there is a, the, the, the water level inside the chamber decreases, so the, there is a phase of inhalation again, the air passes through the turbine, spinning the turbine, and again producing electricity. It's more a matter of wave rather than the tide. The, the tide has a minor effect in the production of the, the power plant. Then that's true that we don't have, all the year we don't have the same range of waves. So normally when we have more waves, the production is, is bigger than in summer, for instance, than when we have a, a less wave, a smaller waves. That's true that the, the turbines are attached or are fixed to the prey water, so we cannot play with the heat. The idea of this kind of technology is that we can to, to be should to be able to, to play with the heat, with the buoyancy of the device, so that we can produce in a full range of sea states. Unfortunately here when we have too much pressure inside the chamber, we need to close the valve, have a valve between the chamber. And, and the turbine and we need to close the valve because it can be risky as the, as the water can reach the gallery and can uh, have some damages in the, in the turbine. The idea of this kind of project is to bring the technology offshore where the energy of waves is bigger and we can make a more affordable use of this kind, this, this energy source. The problem is that we don't have technology robust enough. We need to develop enough technology to be sure that this technology can stay offshore because the, the conditions there are, are quite, quite challenging and demanding. So first, we need to develop this kind of projects which are located coastline where the access is easier, the environment is more protective, protected more, and uh, we need to perform a uh, safe use of this kind of technology. So we are seeing that our energy demand is continuously increasing, especially during the, the last decade. So we need to explore, we need to be able to harness different energy sources. And marine energy, we think that marine energy sources can be a good way to, to put a solution to this uh, global energy demand. And we are proud to be part of this kind of projects because we need, we, we think, we are sure that we, this will help to the community, to the sector, to provide new technology, to develop technology, and in the future, and hopefully in a short future, we will be able to see different wave energy converters installed in the open sea, just producing blue energy, producing renewable energy, and becoming more even more and more and more sustainable uh, energy mix.